So in the previous video, I introduced you to a stretch that was parallel to the y-axis, and we looked at y is equal to two lots of f of x. In this video, we're going to look at y is equal to f of 2x. So instead of having the 2 outside the bracket, we're now going to look at the 2 inside the bracket. We're going to see what happens, how this changes things. So if I were now replace that x with 2x, I'm replacing each of these x's with 2x. So I'm going to have 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 2. Now clearly, that is going to change where this curve is crossing the x-axis because now it's going to be crossing at minus a half and minus 1. So we've still got that minus 1, but it's now crossing at minus a half. Okay, so we've now got minus 1 and minus 1 half. Okay, now when I expand the bracket out, what I'm going to get is 4x squared. Um, I'm also going to get uh, 2x times 2, so 4x plus 2x, so 6x, and I'm going to get a plus 2. So now if I complete the square on that, I'm going to take the 4 out of the first two terms, so x squared plus uh, 6 over 4, so 3 halves x plus 2. Complete the square on what's inside the bracket, so x plus 3 quarters squared. Take away 9 sixteenths plus 2. So that's 4 lots of x plus 3 quarters squared. Uh, 4 lots of 9 sixteenths is minus 9 quarters plus 2. So this is 4 lots of x plus 3 quarters squared. Um, minus 9 quarters plus 8 quarters is minus a quarter. Okay, so the vertex of this parabola is at minus three quarters minus a quarter. Now minus three quarters is here. Okay, so this point is minus three quarters minus a quarter. Now it is still crossing at two on the y-axis. So this curve now looks like this. Okay? So what we can see is that for this parabola, what's happened is that all of the x-coordinates, so for this one, minus 2, 0 has become minus 1, 0. Uh, minus 1, 0 has become minus a half, 0. Minus 3 halves minus a quarter has become minus 3 quarters minus a quarter. So in each of the cases, the x-coordinate has halved. Half of minus 3 halves is minus 3 quarters. The coordinate up here, 0, 2, half of 0 is still 0. So that coordinate remained fixed. So what's happened is that this curve has squashed inwards towards the y-axis. OK? But we still refer to this as a stretch. So this is still a stretch. And this time it is parallel to the x-axis, OK? Because it's going towards the y-axis. So parallel to the x-axis. Now the factor is what I'm multiplying each of the x-coordinates by. And in each case, I'm multiplying it by half. I'm dividing by 2. So factor 1 half. So what we saw before was y is equal to 2 f of x. That was a stretch parallel to the y-axis by factor 2. But this time, when I put the 2 inside the bracket, it's parallel to the x-axis, factor 1 half. So this brings about an important pattern that you need to make sure you understand. I'm going to formalise this in the next video.